I'm in Accounts Payable here. Let's have a look at some options with the Accounts Payable Vendor Invoice Workflow and how the posting sequence works or when you do a posting in the workflow. So you'll see I've got two versions of the workflow. I've got many versions but these two are the ones we're going to have a look at which is number four and number five. So if I have a look at number four then what we'll see here is the posting sequence is before is uh, after the approval. So in this case what we're going to do is the invoice is entered and it's going to wait for approval before it's posted. So let's have a look at how this one works um, because this is the current active one. The second one that we'll have a look at later is if we have a look at the details the posting happens before the approval. So let's have a look at the difference. Now number four is active which means that the posting is going to happen after the uh, approval. So I've put in a couple of purchase orders. I'm going to go and put in a pending vendor invoice. So if I enter the invoice I'll pick up my supplier So the invoice will be B1 for example and so I've got two orders so the first one will sign on this one and it's for $400. Now the approved flag on this one is checked. So uh, that approved flag is different to the approval workflow. Um, so I've got the invoice in there and then I'm going to hit submit. So in this particular case the invoice is B1 and in this case the approval is going to have to happen before the invoice will get posted. So this is, and we'll just filter on that supplier, this is this supplier and this is the invoice and you'll see that the workflow is set to approve. Now let's have a look at the vendor. So if I go to the vendor details what we'll see here if I go to the invoices is I have the invoice A1 but I don't have B1. It's not actually posted at this stage. Um, so it's waiting for us to actually approve before it gets to the next step and post. And we can have a look at the workflow history. If we look at the tracking details you'll see that it's currently on the approve step as well if I go and have a look at open invoices um, and we'll filter on that supplier you'll see that we've got A1 but not B1 it hasn't been posted yet so it hasn't hit the ledger so at this stage while it's waiting for the approval to happen it, it's sitting um, not posted in the system so I can't pay it it's not in the GL so if I hit approve and we'll let it go through. Alright so the invoice is run and if I try to filter on invoices that are pending for this supplier I don't get any. So if we come over to the open invoices and we filter on invoices for that supplier then what I'll see here is that that invoice is now an open invoice and we can go and pay it as well. I'll go and see that if we look at the details I'll see that as an invoice um, on the customer's account. So let's have a look at the other sequence in as an option in the workflow. So I'll go to Accounts Payable Workflows and I'll go to my version. So this is the version we just ran so uh, posting happens after approval. I'm going to mark this as inactive and we'll, we'll make active the other workflow where the posting happens before the approval. So let's go and enter another invoice. So I'm going to go to my pending invoices and in this particular case we'll do the same supplier and we'll say that it's uh, B2 for example and we've got one purchase order left and it'll default in there. So at this stage we're uh, going to hit submit and let's have a look at our pending invoice queue. So we'll see that the invoice is there in the system. So it's sitting in pending invoices 
and if we have a look at the workflow history we'll see that it hasn't run yet so I'll pause the video while it runs okay so the in the workflow has actually run now by default this list page the pending vendor invoices um, what it does is hides the invoices once they're posted so I'm going to change the filter criteria so I'm going to change this option job status um, and take out the filter for not equals executed because it's um, executed in a workflow and, and so if I go through the list you'll see that I've got the BU2 invoice for this supplier and if we have a look at the workflow history you'll see that it's gone through and uh, posted the invoice but it's still waiting for approval and we can see that here so the approval is still needs to happen but if we have a look at the open invoices then if I filter on that supplier then we'll see that B2 is here as an open invoice if I go and have a look at the details um, in the vendor invoices you'll see that B2 has um, hit the vendors account so at this stage it's posted um, and it's sitting there as an open invoice uh, but it hasn't been a uh, approved yet by the workflow um, but it is sitting there as an open invoice at this stage so if we go back to our pending invoices I'll just edit the query again so that we can find the invoice so this is our B2 and so at this stage we can now hit approve and approve it in the system so uh, that'll that'll get approved um, and so it's essentially marked now as approval so that might be an option um, if you want to have the invoice hit the ledger um, before you do the approval so that's something you need to look at from an organization perspective and so you can modify that if you're going to use workflow um, and you still want the workflow approval to happen if we go back into the workflow you'll see that um, the post sequence happens before the approve so in this particular case we got post approve and then the workflow is finished now you'll need to look at your own procedures because once it's posted it can be paid you can work around that for example if you go to the invoice you can if we go and filter for that supplier you can go to the invoice for example you could use payment holds to hold this um, you could also use the approved option if I uncheck approve then it's going to hide it from the payment um, generate payment process for example and you'll see that if I refresh it'll also take it off this list for example so that's a quick look at the options in the workflow um, and that particular one was the uh, vendor invoice workflow so you have the option there of what stage in your workflow do you post the invoice but you'll have to have a look at that in terms of your overall vendor AP invoice processing